So as we all wait for the warm weather to stick around and all the trees and the flowers to pop, I know you gardeners are getting antsy to get out there, right? So the Rock Island Public Library is giving away, among some other things we're gonna talk about, free seed packets. Lisa Lockhart here to tell us all about the seed library and other new happenings in Rock Island. You guys are just, you guys are just moving on ahead at the library. Oh, there are so many ways to connect with your library. Yeah, of course, we offer books and music and movies, yeah. but so many other things too. Yeah, and if you're the kind of person you say, well, I never go to the library. Wait till you see what they have at the library that you didn't know beyond the books and the, right. the music and all of that. You love it. You've been there a long time. Oh, I you? have. Yeah, about 18 years now. Yeah. Good for you. I, I mentioned the seed packets. Let's just start with that. So um, what kinds of things? What kind oh, of you know, fruits and vegetables and uh, flowers and herbs, all sorts of things. Um, it is a free seed library. Mm -hmm. This is... Uh, Morning Glory, Grandpa Ott's Morning Glory, yeah. um, and so they are, a lot of them are heirloom varieties are that are hard to find. Are those the other ones over there? Yeah, Lisa? these are just a few of them. So um, when you go, you have them set up in a, I know we have a picture of it, it looks like they're, they're in a, like a card catalog. They are, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're in a card catalog, and you can just pick the five packets that you like, mm -hmm. um, and so I have some examples of different flowers and herbs, and, and you know, there's some cucumbers. Morning Glory, uh, blueberry? Blueberry, that's a fruit. Blueberries, yeah, yeah and uh, basil and blackberry and cucumber and and look at so you could just these are free, these are free, and you can say where'd you get those seeds? And you could say the library, and then exactly <laughs> people would say what? So this is going on uh, now through what the whole season? You've really, yeah. And then if you are a gardener and you want to save seeds and return them so we can keep the cycle going, that is perfectly okay. That's but nice. if you don't, that's okay too. Sure. We just want to get see people kind of get out, and enjoy their hobby, and yeah. a library is a great place to explore a new hobby. And you know, it is, isn't it? You know, if you're thinking, of, especially with with the kids, or maybe even just for yourself, I want to learn something new this summer. I want to do something different. This is the place to start. It absolutely is. And we have a growing collection of what we call the Library of Things that allows you to explore new hobbies, uh, try out new tools, uh, you know, connect with in all sorts of various ways. A Library of Things. And you want to start with the kits? You want to talk about the kits? Sure. They're right here. Yeah, this is a memory and conversation kit, and we have about five or six of them in all sorts of different topics. This, this is about the 50s. This happens to be. Yeah, and so, you know, May is Older Americans Month, and... Older you know, Americans, and there's Elvis. It's yeah. a sad thing. Yeah, I know, oh, right? Oh, my goodness. Um, um, but that was, the, you know, the heyday in the 50s. Remember the Slinky? How many of you remember a Slinky? Yeah, um, I remember the Slinky. Sure, don't we all? Yeah, yeah but they're full of things that you can touch and handle, and music, and images, and all sorts of things, again, to spar those memories and so, conversations. So pick up a kit. And whether you know you want to teach your kids about it or your grandkids about it, or you just want to relive those memories yourself, because there's some other. Uh, what are some of the other themes? Of oh, the kids? there's some music and there's some pop culture and just a wide variety of things that you can kind of look and see and do. Yeah. And those are all available for checkout with a, either a Rock Island Library card or an Illinois Public Library card from our Library of Things. And then beyond this, uh, we we hear from a lot of you who want to who want to do the shredding of yeah. your of your papers that you want to get rid of. And I know we've been hosting one of those every year. We haven't announced the one for this year yet, but you guys are, this is a shredder that you can borrow from the library yourself. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. We get a lot of calls at the library. Ours is usually in the fall. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, for the meantime, if you've got a small amount and you wanna check out a shredder and just kind of work on it a little bit by little bit, that is something that is brand new to our library of things. And that's the kind you put over um, a, a wastebasket. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and so how long can I have it? I uh, believe it's about a week. And, and it's free. Yeah, and it is free to check out. The, it's free at the library. You knew that. Exactly. You knew that. What's down there? Uh, this is a example of a craft kit that we have. This is a round loom. And it is, uh, it's kind of like knitting for people who don't know how to knit. Um, so you wind this around mm -hmm. and around and around and around and then once you have two rows which is what i've got started the one loop goes over the other and you keep going and eventually you eventually, end up with you, a hat you get a little hat and we're tired of wearing these yeah right? i bet you are so <laughs> yeah so let's put this on then maybe in november 
again. You can start early on those uh, know, Christmas right? gifts, right? But, but you know, some people like to wear these year round, right? Yeah, and you can make socks and slippers. Sure. There's so, oh, there's so many crafts you can do with that. We also have a straight loom set for other things. Again, you check it out from our library of things. You can have it the for a couple library weeks. library of things. In case you thought that the library was only books and music and all of that, it's so much more. So not just the Rock Island Public Library, although that's where you're from today, Lisa, but, uh, but your uh, brothers and sisters at the other libraries would welcome you as well. You know, uh, Davenport just started a seed the library. A seed library at the Davenport Library, too. Yeah. yeah. So um, something to check out. Go in anytime. Uh, in Rock Island, of course, you've got... Uh, you guys have two locations. We have the downtown, the southwest, mm -hmm. and we have the library to go bookmobile running around town. Yes, we just did a story on your bookmobiles. It's going great guns, isn't it? It is. Uh, Lisa, thanks for all you do because the library is just such a, a great resource for everybody in, the, in, uh, in our community. So thank you. Oh, thanks so much for having us sure. on. Thanks, Lisa.